everyone. Um, today is an Animal Kingdom day. Hence the ears. Animal Kingdom outfit. What are you wearing? Just a Barcelona light shirt. Sport shorts. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to Animal Kingdom. Um, what's the plan? Have we got anything that we want to do um, in Animal Kingdom? <laughs> we haven't done that. Um, we've done Everest yet. Everest, yeah, that's true. Um, we've done Flight of Passage and all the Pandora stuff already, so that's not like top priority. Um, it's more, yeah, Everest. Put sunglasses on, hang on. For some reason, there's like a cherry picker, like pretty much outside our room as well. Not sure what they're doing, but something to do with the flag up there. Like the flag needs fixing or something. Um, <clears throat> just gonna get some food from the resort. So we're at All Star Sports Resort, if you didn't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm a bit ill, that's why I sound uh, a bit croaky. So apologies for that, my voice sounds terrible. Right. I'm gonna quickly get some food from in here and then make our way to Animal Kingdom. So we'll see you in Animal Kingdom. Kingdom now, walking towards the tree of life. Look at how busy it gets during the day. Yeah, it's pretty like busy. We've been there a couple of times in the evening, it's been a lot quieter. Yeah, it's pretty busy. You can see the crowd levels. But it is, uh, what is it, 10 45. So, fairly early in the morning. What do you want to do? Should have a quick look through the shop. Yeah. See if there's anything new in the shop since we came a few days ago. Because last time we were in here, so chucked it down. Oh yeah, when it was really raining, yeah. Let's see what they've got. Oh, that's cute. Up stuff. Oh, that bird thing, when's that on? When's what? The bird thing. Oh, there'll be a different time show. Because we haven't seen that before and I wanted to see that. Ooh. It's like a throw. I like that. That's expensive. $70. Jesus. I do like this shirt. Todd doesn't like it. But I like it. I think it's nice. I just said you don't like it. No. That is easy. Yeah, well, the Animal Kingdom is a nice, aren't they? Yeah. They are nice. We've seen that one a couple of times. We like that. Yeah. It's nice. Africa on it. Little elephant. Where'd he go? Animal Kingdom is? Lounge flight, animal print. Oh, the lounge flight. Oh. Fifteen pound each with any merchandise upon purchase. Yeah. Dice. Oh, a little stimber towel. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. I wonder how much that is. $54.99. But it's nice. Look, you could get these crocs. They haven't got Mickey heads on them. I just want plain ones. <laughs> oh, you don't like the ones with Simba and Lala. I do like them, but I would wear them like normally. <laughs> <coughs> ah, fanny pack. Oh, this is nice. Was this here last time? I don't remember this one. I feel like that's new. $59.99. That's nice, I like that. Oh, look! It's a little cup holder. 
<laughs> so cute. Thirty dollars. Want to spend thirty dollars on? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's cute. I get some Lion King pants. Yeah, that spirit jersey is nice. It is nice. Oh, I thought like that wasn't here last time either. That was in there. It's nice. Yeah. 54.99. They're all pretty the same, aren't they? Nice. Similar it's price. No. I'm not sure about the yellow to the orange, mm. like the colour transition, but the print is nice. And look at Scar. <laughs> that's $60. Yeah, we saw that last time, didn't we? Do you want a oh, that's nice. penny? A what? A penny. Penny? Oh, I would call that a, um, I don't actually know what would I call it, it's not a penny though. Say, <laughs> um, uh, a thing that you wear when you're cooking, an apron, that's one. Apron. <laughs> Ooh, this mug looks different. Not sure about the, the lip though, the lip's a bit weird, but it's nice. $20. Oh, that's really cute. $30. Ooh, there's a Lion King. Uh, what do you call it? Throw, yeah. Oh, look. Stand out of the way. Wow. 25th anniversary, really? Oh, my God. That's nice. $24.99. I didn't realise it'd been 25 years already. Nice. Oh, Clayton. <laughs> this one's nice. Where'd he go? Oh, I hate when he does that. He just walks off and I lose him. Oh, he's over there. Oh, that one's nice. That Animal Kingdom one's nice. Oh yeah, that is nice. So that's the back, and then just Animal Kingdom on the front. Nice. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Not bad. I like this bag. This bag is nice. One hundred twenty-five pound though. Lol. I mean dollars. <laughs> Did we get a Christmas decoration the other day or not? No. No. We should get one. Just bring it back. Oh, this bag's so nice though. We haven't got a huge amount of room in our bag, so we're already doing stuff. Yeah. I know, I know. It's not white properly. It's not this bag to write how much space we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love that Winnie the Pooh stuff. That Winnie the Pooh merch is nice. Sorry. Yeah, that and the lounge fly is really nice. Nice, Bella. Oh, is this a musical one? Yes, play. Well, a musical one. <laughs> oh. oh, I haven't seen them before. Hola, Hebre Dante, Miguel Rivera. Sure how much they are. Does not say. Probably maybe thirty dollars ish. Cute. What do you find? Oh, that's nice. Epcot. 
Magic Kingdom, Hollywood, Animal yeah. Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, Mickey in the middle. And it's all on it's nice. the actual band bit as well. Yeah. Also, these say on them, works with Alexa. How? I think you can, um, you know where people, you've seen them on like TikTok or like Instagram and stuff where people use them to turn on lights or like, I think that's how it works. The magic it. band? Yeah. What? Yeah, like, or they have like, uh, they have, you know when we scan in to so like get in, but yeah. they have like one of those and they use their magic band to turn on the lights. Right, decided we want to do the bird show thing. Feathered friends in flight, because we've not done that before. No. Um, and that's in Asia. Yeah. So we're going to walk towards there now. Starts at 11.30 and it's just 11 now, so hopefully that should be alright. But yeah, that should be cool. We've not done that before. Obviously. No. Yeah, it should be, yeah. I don't know why we've never done that before. I feel like we've... Uh, there wasn't a reason know, we've just, never done it before. Yeah, just never done it. So. Yeah, so we'll see what it's like. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> doesn't seem too busy now. Um, oh yes, I've definitely seen it busier. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's busier than we've been seeing it so far. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see you when we get to Asia. Okay, we found the feathered friends. Feathered friends in flight. It is yeah. Which is literally as you just come into the entrance for Asia. So nice little sit down bit. So we will sit in there, show you the birds. Oh, and, and we go. And he's coming back, tells us. Now 
Yeah. Does that reinforce his work? Keep him on the rock, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, Congratulations. We're going to go over here. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're staying here. Four, six. Okay. Um, we do not. Okay. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I have feelings. Okay, 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 perfect. Okay, this is gonna be great. All jokes aside, because we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. It'll be a nice little treat because we are gonna meet the parrot here pretty shortly. And the cool thing is, is these birds, parrots in general, have a unique skill called mimicry, which means they mimic things in their environment. You know, whether it's a bigger parrot, like these macaws up here, who honestly don't even work here. Yeah, that's the funny part. They're just hanging out. Or another smaller parrot species that we're gonna meet shortly. In that mimicry, they can take to a whole new level. Yeah, Groucho is so cool. And like I said, Groucho is one of the best, one in a million at his level of mimicry. He's picked up a lot of different things because Groucho's been here doing this show for a long time. You want to see what you can do? Yeah, okay, Groucho. It's all you. So we're going to see if Everest is up and how long the queue is and then we might do Everest. So we might see you on Everest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. There's one like here. There's one making noise over here somewhere but I can't see it. <laughs> So we're just going in Expedition Everest. It says it's 30 minutes, and my watch says yeah, nearly 10 past 12. So we'll see how long it's going to take. Everest, Everest, Everest. You right? Hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot.
Same as before. Chicken fried rice, which I've had before, was nice. Got some ice waters. He got fries, and I got dad cup. Nom nom nom. The chips are here really good, aren't they? I mean fries. Very well seasoned. Yeah, they're good. So we just come down this little pathway here, and there's a photo pass right there with a tree in the background. Didn't know that. So we're going to try and get a photo. Hopefully it will look pretty, pretty, pretty. And we just had yak and yeti, that was good. Mm. Well, your chips were good and your yeti sundae, whatever it was, yeah? Yeah, I mainly wanted the sundae from... Yeti sundae. The little bus thing. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to get this photo pass and then I think we're going to go to, uh, is it Rafiki's Planet Watch, is that what it's called? Yeah. Because we've not, not done, done that, that before. before. Yeah, so we'll see what that's like. So we'll see you when we get there. Right. Just had the photo pass and now we're walking towards Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is yeah, Cool. Let's go. Salgo de la banca. Y por favor, vigilen a los demás. Gracias. See the petting zoo bit first and then go in there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I don't want stinky people touching me. <laughs> <laughs> Sheepy, sheepy. Sheep butt. Fine, just follow what he says. Since the 1930s, <laughs> Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. The size of this crowd, this is awesome! Yes! There's some extra clapping going on. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate it. Thanks for being a gallery. Awesome. So, are you guys excited? Yeah! yeah. Excited? Ready to learn how to draw a Disney character? Yeah! How about a character from The Lion King? Yeah! You know, it's 
announced the 30th anniversary of The Lion King. Yes, that's right, it's been 30 years since it came out. And of course, when that movie came out, I was just coming out of college. And some of our other artists here were saying, well, I'm old, you're old. You weren't even born when that movie came out. So we really feel old at that point. I said, glad to have you guys here. My name's Mike, I'm going to be sharing with you how to draw uh, one of my favorite characters from The Lion King, and hopefully yours, Pumbaa! Yay! We got some more hot fans out there? Yeah, awesome! And this is what your drawings look like when you are done. Ooh. Think you can do that? <laughs> yeah. Of course you can. What do you know? I'm going to walk you right through. We're going to have a whole lot of fun learning how to draw. Pumbaa. Yes. <laughs> Guys, this is Fridge Worthy. It belongs to Fridge at Home. Upstairs, Fridge Downstairs, Fridge in the Garage, the Beer Fridge. Your neighbor's fridge, your parents' fridge, your grandparents' fridge, your uncle's fridge, your aunt's fridge. Go to go to your neighbors across the street. I'm sure they got a beer fridge too. Put it on there. Go to Home Depot and Lowe's. They have a lot of fridges. Bring a magnet. Put them on their fridge. Hello. Hello. It is much later. Same day. Half past six. Yep. I have Guardians shirt and skirt on. You've got the same outfit. Same outfit. I've had on all day. <laughs> It was so hot earlier, I was literally just sweating through my clothes, so I had to change. <coughs> but um, we are going to Epcot now. Um, not doing Guardians, but I'm wearing Guardians outfit, never mind. Um, we want to do, uh, ideally soaring, if we can, uh, the Moana section when it gets a bit darker. Um, and the main goal is to go see is it luminous? Is that what's called? Luminous, yeah, luminous. Luminous. The lights on the spaceship. Are yeah. Cool. So the basic, uh, basically the sort of end of the night show sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's what we are going to go do now. Going to go get a bus to Epity Cut. Yeah. Um, and yeah, should be nice to see things in the dark. You want to get some food as well from the UK pavilion? Yeah, I want fish and chips. I want something different. Fish and so. chops. Different to chicken or burgers. <laughs> yeah, it's that fish. Um, and then I might get something from the Japan or China again because that's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what the ride times are like, but maybe do if we can, like frozen. But the wait time's always quite yeah, high we'll for that, so that. we'll see. Might, it's party night on in Magic Kingdom, so yeah, yeah, people might obviously thin out. So. Hollywood Studios and Epcot because Animal Kingdom is closed as well now. So yeah, it's also Friday the thirteenth, so good time to go to a Halloween party. Yeah. So hopefully that means everyone will be at the Halloween party and not Epcot. Walking into Epcot. 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 Did you look at the wait times? Yeah, pretty much the same as we were earlier. Been all day. Okay, so, so pretty busy. Thirty-five for like soaring. 10 for Spaceship Earth, like standard, 90 yeah. for Remy's Ratatouille. I'm not bothered about doing well, Remy's, not, we've done I've, Remy's quite a few times yeah. and it's the same as in Paris. So. I'd say I can walk on it at Paris. Yeah. So. I'm not queuing for it here. Yeah. No, but I like Soarin', Soarin's good. Yeah, we haven't done that. And yet, if we could do like... We joined the queue for it when it said 20 and then it was like 65. Yeah, or we could do... Um, Frozen or... Being frozen was like an hour. Oh, was it? Oh, that's dull. I don't like waiting that long. Anyway, I'm going to go through security now, so we'll see you afterwards. I might do some of them. Yeah, we I might do some. I mean, we're really here for the, the fireworks and the shows. So. The luminous show, yeah, because yeah. we haven't seen that yet. So Maybe get a few photos in the dark. Yeah. Do Journey of Water in the dark. Yeah, because that's supposed to be cool at night, so... so. Yeah. Yay! Looks pretty busy. Friday night. Yeah. Epcot Ball. Right, what time are the fireworks again? Is it nine? It's now seven. So we got two hours. Yeah. Two hours to do some rides and eat some stuff. Let's see. Yeah, might as well. See what spaceship Earth is. Big ball. Oh it says it's a 15 minute wait. So we will see. It's just about a few minutes to seven. So we'll see how long it actually takes. It doesn't look too big and it's one of those like 
the rides where you just everyone gets on and off at the same time, so it shouldn't be too long. So we'll see. It's been uh, eight, nine minutes, something like that, and we're off. So. Here we are, just here. Let's see if it shows us. Yeah. Uh, all the way to England, up there. <laughs> Hee -hee. I don't know if it's just our luck, but anytime we go on this ride, it always stops when we're going backwards. I hate that. <laughs> Horrible, isn't it? It's not a nice feeling. Because it's very like sort of angled when you go backwards, so it's really uncomfortable when you sit there like stuck because of the um, you obviously can't move or anything. So, but yeah, I don't know if that's just us or what. But any time we've literally only done that ride like two or three times, but every time we go on it, it's always on the backwards bit. It stops, yeah. and it's like, why, why does it do this? <laughs> but yeah. Um, we're walking past uh, the eatery bit there. Where are we going? What are we doing? Food. Food. Le food. You want the fish and chip buzz? Yeah, this is it. Shrimp and rice noodles. That one. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Noodle exchange. That's the one. We're going to get this now. This is just before you go to Mexico. Mexico is just there. Just trying to find the entrance to the queue over there. So I'll show you when I've got it. So this is the, uh, what was it called again? Thai shrimp and rice noodles. Looks a bit weird because the mushrooms don't look cooked and nor does the shrimp. So I'm a bit worried, but we'll see. They all look like that. So I don't think it was just this one. So we'll see. Uh, what it's like. I think it's, it feels warm, so it should be warm. So. Mark. That was a mushroom. Oh no, it's spicy. Oh dear, it's spicy. To be fair, only a little bit, so too much. Warm, but it's fine. I like the, the bowl is warm, but the actual food is warm. 
but like when it was sitting on the side, it didn't have the, like the soupy sauce right. in it. So I feel like the soupy sauce is the warm thing. And right. The rest of it was already cold, if you see what I mean. So they've just it's already the cooked. Yeah. But it's fine. We'll give it a go. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Um, so yeah, it's not really All right, we are walking around towards Mexico now. The um, the soup part of the noodles was too spicy for me, so I wouldn't. If you don't like spicy food, then I wouldn't get that. The noodles were were okay, um, and the shrimp was fine, and the mushrooms were fine, but it was the actual like soupy part of it was a bit too spicy so they give you like a spoon to eat it with but I wouldn't have been able to eat that on my own I think I'd just like if I'd have just ate the soup I think I'd, my mouth would be on fire so yeah but then I am a bit of a wuss so yeah but if you like spicy food you might like it um we're walking around through Mexico now and Todd wants to get fish and chips from the UK pavilion well, we want to get dump ends again from yeah, because like if you don't if you don't eat like the soup, I guess it's not as filling. So like the noodles and the shrimp and stuff wasn't really very filling, even though it was like seven or eight dollars or whatever. But I'm gonna get some dumplings maybe as well because they were quite nice the other day. So this part we're in that right now is Norway. Uh, now, we're now we're entering China. Has it? Oh yeah, it has. Huge queue. That is the place, yeah. Pan fried chicken dumplings. Looks pretty. Oh, there is a boat. <laughs> Alright. Gonna get some dumplings for me. Right, I got my dumplings they look good I'm just gonna eat them and walk because we're gonna go to UK to get some fish and chips for you yes. he's ordering it on the app because it's mobile order so um oh bubbles, ah, bubbles. <laughs> um, but yeah so we're gonna go through to the UK I'm gonna eat this whilst walking and then if you want yeah so yeah We'll show you the fish and chips when we get it because we've not had that before, but that should be nice. Egg bubble. Here's Todd's fish and chips. That's quite nice piece of fish. Yeah. And the chips today will actually look like English chips, so it's really dark around here where we're sitting, but um, so I've got my flash on. What does the middle look like? Oh yeah, nice. A bit of fish, to be honest, I might just use my hands. but yes, we're gonna. He's gonna eat this, and then there's a photo pass over there with the lights that I want. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but there's a little light bit here, and there's photo pass people. But it looks cute, so <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna uh, go and find somewhere to go for the fireworks, yes. Kill. Sounds good. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs>
back in the room. Um, Tom's just gone to fill up his uh, resort mug thing and get something to eat. My hair's a mess, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've had a good day, um, obviously with Epcot and then Animal Kingdom this morning, so hopefully you enjoyed following us along as well. Um, thank you for watching, if you got this far, give this video a thumbs up. If you like this content, um, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!